There was a time not too long ago when singer Joni Mitchell came very close to giving up her music career. Well, fortunately for us, developments in her personal life and on the music front inspired her to continue creating the songs that have made her a living legend. And she talked about that recently with our music contributor, David Sanborn. And David joins us this morning with more on a wonderful conversation with a wonderful, wonderful yeah, it woman. Yeah, was, it was great. It was great to see Joni again. I, I mean, Joni's been celebrated as one of the most... Uh, influential performance of uh, our era and but in my view she's simply one of the most inspiring artists around uh, and despite many frustrations with the with the music industry she's had the courage to follow her heart uh, often moving against the mainstream to explore music much much like a painter working with textures and colors and in fact she mm. is a painter who's uh, created the art for many of her own album covers and recently I sat down with Joni along with her drummer and musical collaborator Brian Blade to talk about her her art, her newfound family, and her great new album, Taming the Tiger. You did a lot of this a at your house, right? You have a yeah. recording studio in your yeah, home. Yeah, I recorded all of it mm -hmm. there. We cut a lot of the tracks just as a duo. A lot of them didn't even have a text to them or, or an idea of a text. And uh, um, just for the thrill of playing, I was ready to quit music, but I got a new guitar and, and met Brian, and this kind of revitalized my interest in music. So. Um, so you know, we cut the basics, and and uh, then I began to write most of the of the lyrics to the existing tracks, and and then I got another toy, a, a keyboard, and strayed around in, in the samples. And the next thing I knew, I, I'd kind of symphonized the whole thing, you know. Like you were, as you were saying before, you were ready to just walk away from music for a while. Yeah. You know, I mean, what, why was that, and what? made you decide to not do that? I mean, is oh. that, you know? Well, m many things. The business, you, you know, has gone corporate and, and, and hasn't mm -hmm. got much to do with music anymore. I was frustrated. Um, also, I invented a, a way of playing the guitar that was very unorthodox and created performing problems. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of tunings nearly. The multiple tunings, you mean? Multiple yeah. tunings. Yeah. I took my swan song concert. I wasn't going to announce it or make any big deal of it, but mm -hmm. it was to me my last concert in New Orleans and the week before um, the concert the prototype to th this guitar came out which really had a lot of sampled sounds in it but it had the capacity to, to take over the space and put my tunings into it and I called Brian in New Orleans and said you know come and play with me we never met mm -hmm. I was just gonna wing it I didn't care you know I was I didn't, I didn't care whether they so liked me or whether out, I was good go or bad. I was just right? going to go out with a yeah. bang, yeah, you know, right. like all over the place, uh -huh. if necessary, you know. Now, I, I know that, you, that you're as committed to your, your painting as you are to your music. And, and as a matter of fact, most, so. most, of the, <laughs> yeah, most of the album covers uh, have, are, are your paintings. Now, how do you see the relationship between the two, between the, your, your music and your painting? There are different heads. Poetry, painting, and music are kind of different consciousnesses. And so if one goes dry to, av to avoid blockage, I get writer's block from time to time. Mm -hmm. You know, I paint my animals, my friends, mm -hmm. you know, vistas that uh, interested me. And, um, you know, so I began to paint entirely for myself which I've always done with my music. What else inspires you these days, musically or otherwise? The return of my family uh, uh, yeah, it, is yeah. probably Re the most Reconnecting with your daughter. Yeah. You know, right after. And my grandson. For, you know, for those, of, those people who don't know about it, you, were, you gave up your daughter for adoption when you were 16 and then. No, 21. Oh, you were 21. You just were recently reunited with her, not after, after all these years, yeah. right? Now, has that been a. Oh. It's, it's it's delicious. You know, it filled in a big hole in me. Yeah. It's, it's not a scandal. There are three million or more women now in search of their children, and, and mm -hmm. it's a heartrending thing. And you know, there've been a few films made of it, and, and quite different one from the other. You know, it can be uh, exhilarating, uplifting. It can be all kinds of things at the right. end of the road. But um, in your case, it was tremendously fulfilling. And yeah, I think mutually for for she and I, mm -hmm. I think that, you know we will have a beautiful friendship kind of completing a circle. Yeah, the there, there was definitely a hole in me. I mean, I knew it was there. Um, I, I've been meaning to do a family portrait, but I haven't had time really, because I'm in promo mm. mode at this point. And I haven't had time to really reflect on, on a relationship enough to, you know, I haven't had contemplative time to turn it into anything creative. 
Mm. Well, we, there is more, by the way, on Joni Mitchell's new album and on David Sanborn on our website, uh, abcnews.com, on the web or AOL. But when we return, you're going to hear why Joni Mitchell's new album is sure to become a favorite. Uh, David's going to join her uh, for a song from her new album. So stick around, because the best is yet to come. I stepped outside to breathe in. One of the most beautiful sounds. We're back with David Sanborn. Now, Joni Mitchell has such a unique way of playing the guitar. I've seen it. It's incredible. Yeah, I've never seen any or heard anybody play quite like her. She's really... She kind of picks it and bangs it and yeah, strums it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of ever uses it as a percussion instrument, and it's really unique. All right, well, let's listen. You had a chance to perform with her, which must have been a thrill for you. Tonight. This is from uh, Taming the Tiger, her new CD, a song called The Crazy Cries of Love. Joni Mitchell and David Sanborn. <laughs> Wild 